Hey, welcome back. I say I'm going to be duping my polish pickup wish list for February. Now, this month the theme is wild animals, and I had four on my wish list. One of them I will say is one that really stood out to me, one that I really strongly felt like I wanted to have. And then the other three I thought are pretty, but not necessarily unique, and I didn't feel strongly towards them. The first one is cuticula and this one is called rainbow roar now right off the bat this polish feels very familiar um last year i believe it was polished for days did one that looks very similar to this um but it's still pretty um so this one when i look at it i see kind of like it's either a darkened purple or a very darkened kind of like navy base maybe like either like a blackberry or a dark blueberry and then you see these beautiful just kind of like glowy um like stained glass type flakies and then it says rainbow roar it says inspired by an image of a lion with rainbow neon lines rainbow roar a dark blackberry base with a rainbow of ucc flakes and small shifting glass flakes Okay, so first thing I did was pull three bases that I thought could work. I pulled two more purples and then one leaning a little more blue. So the first one I pulled was um, OPI's Abstract After Dark. I kind of, I liked this one because it's got that dark purple base, but then it also has that blue shimmer. So I thought this one could maybe be um, like a cross between the two. And then for the flakes, I pulled Cuticula's Broken Fairy Tales. So this was my first one. And that's what this one looks like. And honestly, I think it works. And I just wanted to see how the others looked. I pulled OPI's Lincoln Park After Dark, which is just a very, very dark purple, almost black. And then I used the same flakies. And that one looks like this. And honestly, they look almost the same. Really, that shimmer in this one is negligible because it gets covered up by those beautiful flakies and they pretty much look the same. And so I really like this one as well. Then I pulled the blue just to see, you know, if I liked it better blue. And I used um, Simple Colors Galaxy. This one is more of a navy blue and it's got that pretty silver shimmer, which again, once you put the flakies on top, you don't really see that shimmer, but I just want to see how it would look blue. And that's how it is with the blue. And honestly, I like all three. I think all three work. Some of the pictures, it looks like it's a little more purple and then some of them look like it could lean a little more blue. Um, I did end up going with the ones that lean a little more purple. And so I decided to go with this one which was the um, Lincoln Park After Dark with the stained glass. And I think it's pretty good. I don't think the shades of purple are spot on. However, it's really close. And like I said, this polish just feels so similar that I really don't feel the need to have it. However, I do think it's really pretty. And hopefully I will get to my dupe someday, um, more like in the fall, so later this year. All right, the next one is the one that I feel very strongly towards that I really need to have it. It's very unique and interesting. This one is Rogue Lacquer's Aim High. And this one, when I look at it, it's a very soft, kind of like a beige yellow. And then it's got these beautiful, like red and orange glowing flakes. It's so pretty and unique. And then when I read it, it says, inspired by giraffes, a cream colored base with red copper chrome flakes with orange gold glass flakes. This is so interesting and unique. You guys know how I love these kind of like weird colors. So two bases um, stuck out in my mind. First one was um, painted polish, mystery Crelly Quattro. I love this. This is so pretty. I feel like the base is pretty spot on. It's like in between a creamy beige and a yellow, just a tint of yellow. It's not too yellow. Um, those flakes, however, are way off, but I knew that the toppers that I was going to put on it um, would kind of mask these little purpley tiny flakes. So 
for this, I swatched um, Island P Glory as my topper, which in case you don't know, Island P Glory and KB Shimmer's Take It or Leave It, they're identical. I'm just trying to get some more use out of um, my Island P and not always reach for my um, KB Shimmer. And this is what this one looked like. And I really like it. The base, I think, is pretty spot on. I love the base. The flakies, however, are just red. There's no real orange. Um, yes, this is kind of like a red-leaning orange, but the orange in here are more like a softer golden orange. And this is pretty good. However, it, it just is not good enough. So then I tried the second um, base that I was thinking of was Island P Spice Eggnog. And this one is a little more yellow leaning and it has those really cute, um, really pretty red flakies. And then instead of using the Island P, I thought I would try one of my own toppers. This one is called Black Flame. This one has those glowing red orange flakies, but it also has little tiny black speckles. And so when I swatched this, it's just not right. Um, the speckles just overpower and it just completely changes the polish. And I just really did not like this one. Um, then just, I don't know, I don't know why, but just to see, I swatched my topper over the painted polish just to see. And it's, you know, basically the same thing. Um, the little speckles just are overpowering. Okay, so then I was getting kind of frustrated because I have so many flakies and I can't believe that I don't have a flaky that is just orange. And so I was going through all of my fancy glosses, all of my Island P, and then I looked on the next tier, because if you guys have watched my um, organization video, you know that I now keep my glitters, my toppers on my spinning towers. And so I was looking onto the next tier where I have my little mini ones that I've um, decanted and made them more sparse. And I saw Fancy Gloss Amber Opal. You guys, look at that. It's perfect. Look at those orange, beautiful orange glowing flakies. So then I went back to the Painted Polish as the base. And then I used, because it is still red and orange, I still wanted the red. So then I did just a little bit of the Ion P, like I did kind of like a dry brushing of the Ion P to get the red and then I did the fancy gloss amber opal on top to get the orange and this was so good you guys look at that I really really like this I think it's a really good dupe I'm very pleased with the dupe however I still think I'm going to get the rogue lacquer because at the end of the day I had to do two coats of this. I had to do a coat of this. I had to do a coat of this. And that's four coats. Plus I have a base coat because it's a yellow and I'm trying to prevent staining, although, you know, it's not going well. You have to have the base coat and then you have a top coat. That's six layers of polish, you guys. And this is just so interesting and unique for me that I kind of feel like I really want to have it, even though I have a good dupe. I feel like at the end of the day, it's more practical to just buy the polish, um, plus February 5th, so Monday, today's Thursday when I'm recording this. Monday is my birthday, um, and I think I'm going to treat myself to this one polish. It's really unique for me, and I know I would really love it because I really like these, you know, kind of weird, interesting colors. So I think I'm gonna get the Rogue Lacquer. It is $13, which is where my cap is. I'm not, I refuse to go above $13 any longer. So I think I'm gonna get the Rogue Lacquer. All right, the next one is Red Eye Lacquer, and this one is called Wilson. And when I look at this, it's really, really pretty. But again, it feels very familiar to me. Um, so it starts off, it's got a really pretty kind of like, um, like a sky blue base. And then it's got these really pretty, um, like orangey gold glowing flakes. And then it has black flakies. So, you guys, <laughs> this one, I went through so many different trials and error, trial and errors, trial and errors to get something that I felt was pretty good. Um, I started off right off the bat, the base color that I was thinking of was Cuticula's 
before the last petal falls. This was on my, or still is on my winter rack. I really want to get to this polish. And so it was kind of in the forefront of my mind. And so I really like the base color of this. However, the flakies, you've got the platinum, you've got the pink, and then you have the little teeny tiny black speckles. So the flakes in this aren't right. The base color, however, I really like. And I was kind of thinking that once I added my toppers, oh, I'm missing the topper, okay, because I use um, one topper in two different menus. Um, I thought it would kind of like just mask and be more cohesive with the flakies that were underneath. So this was my first attempt. And for my, to pull in the red, I used, um, or like the glowing orangey red, I used Glory, again, from Island P. And then to oomph up the little black speckles, I used Batsy's, um, I used Rogue's Batsy, Batsy. And this is what it looks like. Now, I feel like the base is decent. It's not perfect. However, look how busy that looks. It's just, it's so busy um i don't know it's just it's got a lot going on it doesn't feel exactly like the polish here so i decided i want to try something else so then i was thinking of dreamland lacquers the king and the queen and this one has those pretty kind of orangey glowing flakes and it's got the soft sky blue blade, sky blue base however once i swatched it i noted like i decided right off the bat it was the wrong tone of blue and i didn't even bother trying to top it Okay, so then I was going through my blues and I saw Rogue Lacquer's Petrified Forest. It's got that soft sky blue base and then it's got those beautiful kind of red orange flakies. And I thought this was going to be perfect. Um, so then I swatched it out and it was this one. And I felt like it, and then I did the Ion P and I did the Rogue Batsy. Now again, it feels a little busy to me. Um, I feel like, cause the Batsy is, I mean, it's one of my very favorite toppers. You guys know I use this all the time. However, it is very, um, what is the word I'm thinking of? Like it's a very dominant topper. So this dominates whatever you use it with. And even though mine is a thinned out version, sometimes I feel like it's still a little bit too much. And whenever I top this off, I think I'm going to make it a little more sparse than it even is now. Um, so when I look at this one, it just feels a little too much. And also the base is just a little bit too light. So then I was like, okay. And also very, very sheer. Um, this never really built up opaque and it just felt like it was just too sheer. I had to do too many coats. So then I thought, okay, let me try to do undies. So I was going through my blues. I didn't quite find any blue that I really liked that I thought would go with this, but I wanted to try Essie's flare for fun and it's just not right you guys it the the tone is way too dark it's just not the right color so now i was going through my blues again and i saw this one glam polish merlin it's got that pretty sky bluish base although it's more leaning a little more cerulean blue and then it's got those really pretty um flakies as soon as i swatched it i knew it was wrong like look at that the the color is just way too um way too different so I didn't even bother with the flakies. So I went back to square one. I decided to, well, initially when I swatched on my nails, I tried using this one. I thought this one, the base color was pretty good um, and it didn't feel as busy as the cuticular. However, I did like three coats of this and it just wasn't building up enough to be, um, like to be, to have enough oomph in it. So I went back to the cuticula. I swatched the cuticula. I did two coats of this. And then to make it feel a little less busy, I did kind of like a dry brushing of the Island P and then a very soft dry brushing of the Batsy. So my swatch picture is more toned down than this. I feel like it's pretty good. I like it. Um, I think the overall effect is there. However, the tones are a little bit off. Um, so I don't think it's a perfect dupe. However, and actually now that I'm looking at this, I kind of feel like instead of using Island P, I probably should have used My Soul Amazing by KB Shimmer, which leans a little more golden than just red. Um, however, I don't know, at the end of the day, I don't think it would have made that much difference because I didn't get the overall base color exact anyway. So I feel like 
pretty good dupe, not perfect. Um, if I was absolutely in love with this polish, I probably would get it. Um, however, because it doesn't feel crazy unique to me, I don't feel like I need it. And I didn't even read the description to you. It's inspired by Wilson's Bird of Paradise, a pale sky blue Crowley with black flakes and red, orange, gold shifting flakes. Oh, I think that's why I ended up going with ILMP because um, although to me when I look at it, it looks more like orangey gold, the description calls it red, orange, gold. So I think that's why I ended up going with this one because it has more red in it. Anyways, um, I'm not going to be getting this one. I think it's really pretty. However, it's not a must have for me. Okay, and then the last one, this one is Psych Minerals, which I don't know anything about this brand. And this one is called Feathered Elegance. So when I look at it, it's a really pretty bright, almost like a magenta-ish base. And then it's got that really beautiful, strong blue shimmer. Some pictures, it looks a little green. So I'm guessing it's like a blue shifting green shimmer. And then the description says, inspired by lilac breasted roller. I don't know what that is, but lilac breasted, I'm guessing it's some kind of bird. And it's feathered, it's called a feathered elegance. So I'm guessing it's a bird, yes. Feathered elegance is a juicy deep magenta jelly with blue to green to violet aurora shimmer. So I was spot on, it's magenta and it's got blue green shifting shimmer. Okay, so right off the bat, I was thinking of a couple Emily Damali's that I had. First one is Emily Damali undertones and it's got that pretty magenta base and then it's got that really pretty blue shimmer however when i swatched it it just doesn't feel right the base is a little too light it's not as vibrant i like the shimmer however it feels very frosty to me um i don't know it just doesn't quite feel right so then i was thinking um and when i was swatching this i was a little bit surprised because i was thinking that it had a, a richer base. And so then I was going through uh, my Emily Damali swatches and I realized that I have another one that is slightly darker. And this is the one that I was thinking of, but I had grabbed the wrong one. This one is Parallel Worlds. And this one is more of a darker magenta base. And then this one has a strong green shimmer. So when I swatched that one, it looks like this. And I thought that was pretty good. I like it. However, most of the pictures here, it looks more blue and less green. So I wanted to try. And also, um, I don't know, it still doesn't feel as vibrant enough to me. So then I decided to try this with undies just to see if it pops more. Um, and I used Orly's for the first time, which honestly, it really didn't make much of a difference. Oh, no. This was, okay, so this one felt more green to me and the picture looked more blue to me, but because this one is kind of um, a little too pale, I thought I would use this with undies. So then that's what this is. Um, this is the Orly's um, for the first time is undies. And then I pulled this on top to try to brighten this up, but then to get the blue shimmer. And I do think it's better. However, honestly, it really doesn't feel like the base did much. Um, didn't do a whole lot. Maybe it's a smidge darker than this one, but honestly, they kind of, it ends up looking the same. So then while I was pulling this, I saw this. Um, Salon, um, Sally Hansen, worth melting for. And look at that. It's this pretty blue, um, pretty, I can't talk today. It's this pretty purple, and then it's got that beautiful blue shimmer. Doesn't quite feel bright enough to me though, so I thought I would use undies. And so that's what this is. The blue, honestly, the blue shimmer in this really gets lost in this. It shows up a little better in my swatch pictures. However, overall, I don't think I did the best dupe. Um, the tones are not quite right. The shimmers are not quite right. However, I feel like even though I couldn't get this spot on, it still feels so familiar to me. I mean, I've got all three of these where it's, you know, a soft magenta-ish base with pretty shimmers, pretty bluey green shimmers. So although it's not exact, it's just, I don't know, it feels redundant to me. It doesn't feel like it's anything that I need to have. So I'm not going to be getting that. 
So that means I think I'm just going to be getting the one. Um, as of right now, today's Thursday, I'm feeling pretty confident that I will be getting the Rogue Lacquer. I know for sure I won't be getting the other three. Um, I guess I'll find out tomorrow when I wake up if I decide to go ahead and purchase the Rogue. As of right now, I really think I'm going to. So um, I'm feeling pretty about that. Um, I'm feeling pretty hopeful about my year my year goal to buy less for polish pickup um let me know what you guys are looking at this month is there anything on your must-have list are any of these on your list um let me know um leave any comments thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye